Well, hello there, ladies and jelly beans. And no, I can't remember what that's from. I have an inkling that it might have been The Simpsons, though. But today, you will be excited to hear that we have got another sale, ladies and gentlemen, on the new store, which is so cool. So, with that being said, we are on the dashboard now, or we should be at least. Um, and it says sales 31 days, £62.50. 54. Honestly, I don't know why I've not got approached in my emails about 10,000 times for people uh, to say to me, oh yeah, would you like to come along and do a reselling TV show? Because, I mean, 62.54, oh my god, things you can buy with that, I mean, you could probably buy, what, 6,254 one-piece sweets? Or it might be 62,540 One Piece sweets. I don't know. Anyway, you can work it out for yourselves. I'm not doing your maths for you. Um, so, we're on the little dashboard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the sale that I've had first. And then we'll go into my active listings. Because, as the astute among you might have already clocked, I have got 25 active items on this store. Now, I've literally today uh, just done a load of photography. I've listed 10 items. And I've got about another 20 items or maybe 15 items, something like that, um, in my folder, in my photos folder to list as well. So yeah, we're really getting up this store, really, really cool. And uh, I've got a few nice items, a few that I put on auction and a few on buy it now. But without further ado, let's get on and let me first share with you this sale. So here we are, we've got this sale here, this Lego Brickheads 40274 Mr. and Mrs. Claus Christmas building set. Now, Please, whatever you do, don't download the browser Firefox and don't click the reload every function for this video so that then you can get a load of views. Don't do that because this video, I want it to be on the down low. The reason for that is this may or may not have been an unwanted Christmas gift. So please do not get this video loads of views. Do not promote it. Do not share it. Just leave it on about 100 or 200 views. Leave it, please. Oh God, please leave it. Because, anyway, so uh, we don't want a family feud. So, <laughs> with that being said, it didn't cost me anything. So that's why I was more than happy just to whack it on at a very cheap auction kind of thing. And it got £6.60 plus three forty nine postage or shipping or whatever you want to call it. What does... Uh, oh, shipping on top. That's the one that people say in it. Um, but yeah, so £6.60 plus postage. It did cost me uh, maybe about 70p or something in fees because it went round twice. So it might have even... I don't think it went around three times. Did it go around three times? Maybe twice, something like that. So it did cost me a little bit in fees. Um, I am a little bit concerned with the money that I'm spending on fees because I didn't realise how much it actually is for a store without a... Uh, sorry, for, for an account without a store or anything like that. It's quite a lot. It's 36 pence per listing. And considering that some of the items that I've got on auction are only sort of going on there for 4 dollars 99 5 99 6 99 and some of them are going round a couple of times. Yeah, I've got to I've got to make sure that I'm not spending too much on auction, and that's another one of the reasons why potentially I'm putting a few more things on by it now. But not only that, I think that when I'm doing um, auctions in the future, I'm actually going to do. 10 day auctions and I've actually this morning or this, well not this morning this afternoon uh, put on a couple of items on the 10 day auctions just so I'm getting another few days out of it now yeah it's debatable whether that's actually going to help whether it's going to get much more exposure or anything like that but I'd rather get the most out of my money I'd rather put them on for 10 days instead of seven especially if I am paying 36 pence in fees so with that being said that is that one there so let's go back over to the dashboard and let's uh, have a look at these active items first and also um i have i've also got to uh, do some feedback for someone um but i've actually got some under well it says here underperforming listings 
So I'm going to go in there, see what those are. I probably won't change anything with them unless there's something obviously, uh, like, really blatant or really obvious that I can see wrong with them. But I probably won't change anything on them. So, that being said, let's go into the active listings. So, as you can see, we are in the active listings now, and I have got £218.67 in fixed price items, which is really, really cool. Non-auctions that will sell. So, please feel free, if you haven't already, obviously, the link will be down below. I don't think I said that last time. But, yeah, the link to this new store will be down below so if you want to show your support for me then you can bid on any of the items here or if you just want to go ahead and go over there and follow the store see what I'm up to on there and just keep updated with it aside from any of these videos then please go over there and do that as well so uh, with that being said we've got a few items here some of these that have been on for a fair while these uh, are actually well I've still got quite a while left actually got 13 days pretty much there um, but we've been on for maybe just over two weeks now um, and that one I I changed to 1995. We've not had it. That was the one that I lowered the price in. Um, but we've not had any movement on that or anything. There's no watches or anything on it. Um, I might go go in and update the item specifics for that one specifically because I don't. I think that's one of the ones I didn't when I was doing. I did. Uh, few days back if you watch the store updates you'll you'll know this but i did a few um changes to item specifics as, as i was say, said i was going to do um but i don't think that was one of them that i actually did it on so that's possibly something i need to do on that one um but yeah i did, I did actually revise that when uh, I went into the underperforming listings. I did that on video actually. Um, so we've got these are like the older, older listings here. And then as we go down, we're possibly going to hit a few more new ones. These were ones that I actually just relisted today. Again, I lowered the price on some of them because a lot of this stuff doesn't owe me anything pretty much. Uh, or if it does, it's literally pence. So I'm, I'm not really too bothered about putting the price down too much on those. But if they don't go, I might. What I might do is I might consider bundling up. Bundling up those two Doctor Who figures. Don't know about that one, that Star Wars one. I have got another Star Wars one that I actually recently put on. Um, if this one down here that I've just put on doesn't sell, I might consider bundling those two up. Don't know about that Marvel thing though, but that I know that one I got for free, that one I got for free, and these two don't owe me any much anymore because I've sort of since sold a load of Doctor Who figures that came in those bundles. So, yeah, anyway, we've got a load of uh, Hobbit figures that I've put on here. Again, all these I got for free. And I'm preaching to the choir here. I've said it so many times, um, and people will know this. It's so obvious, but I always say in sales updates, I got a load of stuff for free from my dad's friend, and essentially these have all come for free from him, so they don't owe me anything, which is brilliant. It doesn't really mean I have to get a set amount of money out of them. I just need to get enough to pay me uh, postage and my fees and all the rest of it and make a, at least a little bit of profit. So that's really cool. So they've all come to me for free. That one, that Star Wars one's come to me for free as well. These, uh, I actually put these banknotes on. I did a community tab post uh, showing uh, me photographing these. Um, so there's a load of banknotes. It's some uh, old English banknotes, actually 25 one pound notes. And these were just from a personal collection. I just wanted rid of these. So if you want to get your hands on something, oh no, wait, that sounds so egotistical. I can't go for that. I'm, I mean, I may be an egotist, but I'm not that much of an egotist. I can't say that. Anyway, I was going to say, if you want to get your hands on something that I have touched with my own hands, but that's like, oh God, that's too much even for me. But if you want to get something that that's been in my collection. Let's, I mean, that's still very, very egotistical, but it's not as bad as something that I've touched with my own hands. But if you want to get your hands on something from my own personal banknote collection, these banknotes themselves are in poor condition, very, very poor condition. Please do check the photos if you are going to bid on them because these aren't in brilliant condition. That's one of the reasons I wasn't really fussed about having them in my collection anymore. But yeah, they're at least worth £25 because I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe, and I'm like 90% sure, that you can actually go to go to a bank and or, or potentially go to the Bank of England. I'm not sure whether you can just go to any bank, but uh, you can actually get these swapped out for normal £1. So obviously there's 25 quid of value there. Um, what's, you know, this, uh, oh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? 
regardless, not disregardless, I was saying disregard, is disregardless even a word, I don't think it is, but regardless of, uh, you know, anything else, they're worth 25 quid, so that's cool, and I've put them on at 14.99, so that's, I'm a bargain there, 14.99, um, and we've got a Classic War Collection DVD, again, I've had that for ages, this exit game I picked up the other day for two quid, and it seems that a lot of them are going for, uh, eight, nine, ten pounds, well, six seven eight nine pound on auction brand new and sealed so i thought i'd just wipe that on auction see what we can get for that and then a few other things again a couple of these oh these are old things here uh but these basically again have not cost me hardly anything that was from uh the free job that i got as well so yeah uh some nice items there and the good thing is a lot of it doesn't owe me anything or hardly owes me anything so it means that whatever i get out of it um bar obviously postage and all the rest of it fees is uh, profit, so pretty happy with that. So that's the items going on. We're now just going to go and quickly. I know this update's probably getting a bit long now, but we're going over and just check out those uh, free un underperforming listings very quickly. Oh, also, I just realised I didn't say I've actually got a couple of positive feedback as well over the past uh, few days. So you will be able to see in the top left hand corner where it says my little username, the eclectic attic in blue, and it has a little dash or a little, uh, what do you call them? Brackets. Oh, a dash. Uh, in little brackets, it has a little six instead of a little four. So I've got two feedback, which is pretty cool. You can also see it down here in the feedback. Uh, last 30 days, two positive feedback. Um, but we don't really need to go into that. I just thought I'd tell you very briefly. Um, so we're going to underperforming. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, we have to click this. I always forget. You really should put it so that then that's like the first thing you come to. Because anyway, I don't know. But yeah, um, underperforming listings here. I'm not going to do anything on that one because obviously that's the one I've already sorted or, or put down put down the price on a little bit. Now, these two are potentially on quite high or maybe a couple of pounds, two, three, four pounds above um, maybe... The slightly high, no, I'm trying to think how to phrase this. Basically, I'm shooting fairly high on them. There, there has been sales at the prices that I've got them on, but only very sparsely. So, um, yeah, so I'm go what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep them on like that anyway. Because that's what I, I knew when I was listing them. I knew I was going high and I thought, you know what, I'll keep them on for a while at that price anyway. So I'm not going to change those as of yet. But I will consider lowering them in maybe a few days, a week, something like that, and get one or two of those gone. Uh, it is actually Chinese New Year at the moment, although I don't think there's uh, huge celebrations going on because of all the coronavirus over there. Um, but obviously with that being a topic at hand, in fact, I think it might have just finished up or something, maybe, I don't know. But obviously that means I do kind of need to get that sold um, pretty soon. Otherwise, the demand will go again. So, yeah, I will consider revising that uh, possibly in a few days' time, but we'll see. So, with that being said, that is everything I needed to update you on on the store today. Quite a big update, actually. Quite a few things going on. Um, no doubt we'll have a few more sales in maybe a few days to a week because I've got to let those auctions filter through. Um, but, yeah, I imagine those banknotes should do okay. I'm not saying they're going to do brilliantly, but they should at le least get a few bids. Um, and I imagine maybe we might have our first buy it now sale because we've not had a buy it now sale on this store yet so maybe we'll have our first buy it now sale also just for adam when he's editing this um by the way it is day 32 i believe today so when you actually export the video and you put a title in it put in brackets day 32 so that then the people at home know what day we're on. I can't believe we've been doing this for over a month already. Now I know also just very quickly to finish uh, a few people were saying or, or one or two people were saying um, how, how uh, when I was doing the uh, updates and in the title I put day 2 and then day 6 or whatever people I think were Possibly of the understanding that it might be a daily thing. So I'm not actually doing it as a daily thing. I'm not doing day one, day two, day three, day four. But when I do an update, I'll put the actual day uh, since the start in the in the title. So I might do an update on day one, let's say. And then my next update might not be till day seven. So then I put day, day seven in the title and so on and so forth. And now obviously we're up to day 32. I did think of doing it as a daily thing, but I thought, you know what? I don't think, well, for one, it would take up a lot of time. For two, uh, I don't think there'd be enough content on the store to really warrant doing it as a daily thing. 
Um, but I think really it was between those two, to be honest. I mean, I mean mainly uh, the time, but also the fact that, you know, I mean, what would there be to, to update you on every day? It would just be like, oh, yeah, well, I've just, I've basically done nothing today. So I thought I'd just do it every few days. So with that being said, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing. If uh, you like the video, then please do give it a big like down below. And uh, if you've got any comments, questions, or queries, or would like to visit the Eclectic Attic 2020, then the link will be down below in the description. And the comments are open as well. So, with that being said, I will see you in the next one. So, see you very soon, guys. Watch it, I slow down.